Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with some more Mad 17 online head to head ranked gameplay. Today I'm going to be discussing the air raid offense, and basically, the air raid is not something that you'll see being just as a whole really prevalent in the NFL game. In college, it was absolutely prevalent with teams in the Big 12. And the guy that you may associate with the air raid, if you know anything about it, is Mike Leach. And pretty much what the air raid is, the offense as a whole, is a combination of specific plays that is designed to get playmakers in space and allow them to do work on the offensive side of the football. Now, in the form that I'm running it in, there's different ways to kind of run it. But in the form that I'm running it in, in Madden right here with the New England Patriots playbook, by the way, didn't want to go custom on this one, um, is a pass-heavy offense. You're going to be passing it like... 70 to 80 percent of the time uh mike leach is the tendency to just chuck it all day long and if your opponent does this which you see right here where he's rushing three defenders you can run the football but one thing that you have to note in the air raid is that you will always check down to a run never come out in a run play always check down to it uh in within the play apparently there was like a stat like 90 percent of of uh, one in one year of mike leach's offense like 90 percent of the run plays uh, came from the quarterback calling it like at the line of scrimmage because that's that's how it is that you have to, you're always passing the football but it's very high percentage passes that you're throwing so the concepts that revolve around the air raid include mesh uh, y cross y corner y sail <clears throat> you have wide receiver screens halfback screens stick four verticals smash so there's you know a bevy of plays that you have at your disposal to really destroy your opponent, whether it's underneath with those uh, drag routes that include mesh and shallow crosses, and then you have stick, which is also a quick play that you know can do some work against man coverage. And then when they start biting on that, the linebacker safety starting to come up close. You could hit them with uh, verticals, Y corner, and hopefully, or Y corner, Y cross is really good if you have a backside dig or post, helping that out, causing some more vertical stress downfield than typically seen in a in you know the base starting plays at least the way I like to run it of the air raid and right here I try to have like a little play on the Y cross uh, with Jared Cook crossing the field unfortunately I have no backside dig or post working for me but we do have the vertical uh, or the seam right there that we hit and high completion percentage is a must in this offense even though you are going to be passing the football a lot you want it to be high percentage passes in and uh, it's not as stressed as it would be in like a west coast offense but um, you definitely, it's not going to be a bunch of crazy deep throws. You see, I just run a bubble screen up to like the three yard line and I get in the next play, but, um, this is a spread offense. So people kind of may compare it to like something like Oregon. If you're not extremely all knowing about certain spread offenses, because Oregon is actually very different, even though they're both spread than the air raid, pretty much what they do is they run the football with inside zone all day and they try and make you commit there and then they pull it out with read options and they develop their offense off of that there's similar concepts for sure in the past game uh, with Oregon's offense and Chip Kelly and things like that but it, the, the base of it is a little bit different so obviously the run game is much more prevalent in an Oregon style offense or an option style offense than a spread offense uh, in the form of the air raid which you're seeing right here smash I don't know if I mentioned that one also another core concept that is utilized by Mike Leach in the air raid and right here, we try to hit it. I probably could have hit triangle right there, but didn't want to take a risk. So I ended up just throwing it away. In this game, by the way, Madden 17, it is a little bit difficult sometimes to uh, hit that <clears throat> or to... Uh, I, I got to learn the reads on Smash sometimes. You know, the cornerbacks, they play some. They play the ball really crazily in, in a really weird fashion sometimes. So I got to pay attention to that. But right here, I checked down to a run originally. That's the only time you're going to check down to a run. I check back to a four verts play, and we get in um, into the end zone with Jared Cook. So we're you know destroying this opponent at this point, and we're basically running mesh right here, just out of a different look. One other thing that the air raid stresses, especially with Mike Leach, is the fact that you want to run similar plays like shallow cross, but show it in different formations, so that your opponent thinks you're running something different, but you're really not. You're really running the same thing. You're just showing it in a different formation getting them confused, show them as many look, different looks as possible. That's part of the reason why I chose New England, because they have 14 different formations. So you have a, a pretty decent amount of formations at, at your you know disposal, and you can really just do extreme damages uh, on your opponent's defensive system. So right here, running mesh, I think. I think we run wheel mesh. And, uh, you know, again, you have to make them respect the underneath game. And, and he's actually rushing three guys, and I'm still gaining yards on him. Really... 
I could be checking down to run plays right here. Right here, he puts five guys on the line. So I go to wide receiver screen. I see he's got nobody out there. Might as well do it. Randall Cobb makes a couple guys miss. I get a nice 19, 20 yard gain. So that's, you know, the basic, you know, idea of what you want to do with the air raid. You just want to, you know, make him respect the underneath, for, at least from the way I like to run it. And then you can go attack a little bit more vertically and, and, and just, you know, take what you're given, honestly. That's really what sometimes. It see it sounds really easy to do, but when you're hit with blitzes and stuff like that in Madden, especially and, and in the real world too, you know mistakes happen. So you want to have your reads down, and sometimes uh, it, it's kind of a weird system in that you can run like a, a shallow cross and and chuck it for like two or three yards, and you can kind of be frustrated. But that's the same as having like a HB ISO power O dive toss whatever, and just going for a little bit of yardage. You know that's okay to do. That still forces them to, you know, go down and, and try and crush those crossers and, and then leaves open space behind them. So here are the numbers for Aaron Rodgers today. 19 of 22, 3 in completions, 360 plus yards and 5 TDs. Video game like numbers for sure, but absolutely lethal when you play uh, the correct way. So that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 17 content. Definitely going to be continuing to get you guys some online ranked head-to-head -head gameplay as well as Ultimate Team. But, I mean, if you guys really want online ranked head-to-head, -head, let me know because Ultimate Team is really what I've been focusing on this year thus far. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, yep, thanks for watching.